Vice President Kamala Harris visited an abortion clinic as part of the Biden administration's Fight for Reproductive Freedoms tour. This marked the first ever visit by a sitting president or vice president to a facility where abortion services are provided, leading some workers to confront Harris about why it took so long, RadarOnline.com has learned. The VP's visit took place at Planned Parenthood in St. Paul, Minnesota, where she underscored the importance of reproductive health care. During her visit, Vice President Harris addressed a variety of questions from reporters, shedding light on the significance of her presence at the abortion clinic. When asked why it took so long for a president or vice president to visit an abortion clinic, Harris emphasized the health care crisis that necessitated her visit. She highlighted the repercussions of restrictions on reproductive care following the Dobbs decision, indicating the closure of vital health care facilities and limited access to essential services for women. Furthermore, Vice President Harris emphasized that reproductive health care encompasses various services beyond abortion, such as pap smears and breast cancer screenings. She spoke out against the consequences of restricting access to these services, labeling it a travesty. Well, what I saw were, I don't know, maybe two dozen healthcare workers who really care, really care about their patients and who understand that in the healthcare delivery system, regardless of your gender or your healthcare need, she told the crowd. I think we should all expect, and certainly we all desire, that you will be treated with dignity and you'll be treated in an environment where you feel safe. And by that, I mean safe to be free from judgment, to be in an environment where you are actually and really listened to, where your needs and your expression of your needs are taken seriously, Harris continued. And walking through this clinic, that's what I saw are people who have dedicated their lives to the profession of providing health care in a safe place that gives people dignity. And I think we should all want that for each other. In response to inquiries about her role in protecting abortion rights, Vice President Harris highlighted the impact of elections on legislative outcomes. She proposed that securing these rights would require congressional action, signaling optimism for future progress. Harris affirmed the government's obligation to respect individuals' autonomy in making healthcare decisions, irrespective of religious beliefs. When pressed about the future of reproductive rights, Vice President Harris reiterated the need to reinstate the protections of Roe v wade through legislative measures. She emphasized the importance of codifying these rights into law to safeguard access to essential healthcare services for women.